In Excel, the column headings are usually letters like A, B, C, and occasionally you can change them to numbers, so one, two, three, and so on. And I like to do that if I'm working on complicated formulas or doing some programming where I want to know the column number. And then you have to change them back, and it's a bit complicated. So I like to have a little macro that I can click a button, and it'll switch back and forth for me very easily. So to record a macro, I'm going to come down to the bottom left of the window and click the Record Macro button. I'm going to call the macro Toggle R1C1, and that's just the name of the style when numbers are the column headings. I'm going to store it in the Personal Macro Workbook and click OK. So I'm going to turn the setting on and then turn it off just so I can see what code Excel uses to make that change. So to turn it on, I'll come up to the Office button, go down to Excel Options, and click Formulas, and then add a check mark to R1C1 Reference Style and click OK. So now we have the numbers. To turn it off again and go back to Letters, I'll go back into Excel Options and Formulas and take the check mark out and click OK. So now we should have some sample code and I'm going to come down to the bottom left again and turn off the Macro Recorder. And to see the code that we created, we can go into the Developer tab, but first I store this in the Personal Macro Workbook, which is hidden. So I'm going to the View tab, and this little icon is for Unhide Window. So I'm going to click it, and here's my Personal Workbook. So I'll click OK, just to unhide that, so I'll be able to see its code. So now I'll go to the Developer tab, click Macros, and there's my macro, and I'll click Edit. So here's the code that we created by recording. So in the application, the Excel application, for the reference style, we set it to Excel R1C1 and then to Excel A1. So Right now, if we ran this macro, it would just very quickly change the setting to numbers and then back to letters. And we, it would happen so fast, we wouldn't even see it happen. What I would like it to do is check and see if numbers are showing or letters and change it to the other one. So I'm going to select all this and click the Copy button. And I'm going to just delete this little apostrophe. So what I want my code to do is use an if statement, just like we would use an if in a formula on the Excel worksheet. So I'm going to say if, and then a space, and I'm going to paste that bit of code that I copied from here. So if, right now, it's the reference style is the letters. I'm going to do a space and type then. So if we're showing letters, then, and then I would like it to change to the numbers. So I'll leave that. I'm going to click at the end here and type else. So that will tell it what to do if it's not letters. And in that case, so if it's not letters, we want it to change to letters. I'm going to click at the end of that row and type end if. And when I click away, you can see that these lines have changed to blue text and things have been capitalized. I'm just going to delete so that the if, else, end if line up. And now we're saying if it's letters, then change it to numbers. Else, so if it's not letters, change it to letters. And I'm going to click the Save button. 
and just move this a little bit and we can see letters are showing. And if I click somewhere in this code and come up here and click run, that changes it to numbers. And it's still, the cursor's still in there. I'm going to click it again. And now it's numbers, so it should change it to letters. And so our code is working.